quite as love. The absence of love, the end of love, the need for love, result in so much violence. Miriam Teve's book had this very profound impact on me. We must decide now to stay and fight or leave. We will not do nothing. It had such hard truths around reckoning and rage and faith and forgiveness. We will be forced to leave the colony if we don't forgive the men. I cannot forgive them. I will never forgive them. Women Talking is about a group of women who have dealt with assault by the males of their community, debating on what their future could be. I want to stay and fight. But won't we lose the fight to the men and be forced to forgive them anyway? Our first choice to write and direct was Sarah Polly, and there was no end to her commitment and courage. It was really important for me to imagine those landscapes and the canvas on which the story was going to be told. Sarah wanted to tell this story in a way that honored these women and their faith. Does entering the kingdom of heaven mean nothing to any of you? Surely there must be something worth living for in this life, not only the next. Miriam declares it an act of wild female imagination, which is what we wanted to do cinematically. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it was just so moving seeing these characters come to life. The dynamic between the actors was just powerful. We know that we are bruised and infected and pregnant and terrified. Miriam and Sarah built a story that is thought-provoking and unifying. It's gorgeous, it's haunting. There's a real sense of solidarity, of hope. Hope for the unknown is good. It is better than hatred of the familiar. We are living in a time where there's a lot we have to change. This film offers a window into what it looks like when people have to imagine another way forward. When we've liberated ourselves, we will have to ask ourselves who we are. <laughs> Man, cut. Really beautiful. We got it. Thank you.